I need a pencil of paper. Okay, Good. we're on. Yay! And I'm Okay, everybody. Here's Janet waving. Hi, We're measuring out our oils right now. And Janet's friend Hannah. <laughs> and Janet's friend Molly. And there's another friend who's not going to be on camera. <laughs> and two more friends that just came in. Oh, the back good. Door. Hey. Jackie and Emma are here. Are you camera shy friends um, for a live stream. Yes. Let's let's not. <laughs> you look as gorgeous as always. So you need one. Um, but that's okay. No, there's no live. No live pressure here. Susie and I are fine. <laughs> anyway, we're here making soap and we're starting with measuring out the oils and butters that need to melt so that we can add them into the lye water mixture in a minute and get them to saponify and make soap. So it's really simple. So that's what we're where we are right now. So we just got started because we were talking too much and yakking. So here we are. We just do so we're measuring out the oils. That's the first step. Hi. I'm so glad to see you. Um, so when it's their turn to mix, I'll just take yeah. the camera off again. Fine. Um, and now it goes into the... So the first step is to melt your mixture of oils, and we're using recipes from a book. Um, I haven't gotten good enough at this yet to feel confident, like, let me just mix up some things and see how it goes. But I'm not there yet, so... Although... That's what you were for. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was, as I was reading through the recipes last night, I was kind of like... I could so, and then I was like, don't substitute while you're trying to teach people. Just, <laughs> just, just keep it, keep it simple. Um, so while those are melting, we're going to go outside to mix the lye and the water because um, of fumes and stuff. I actually have never really been that concerned about it, but it is a chemical reaction, so I think it's best to do that outside. Um, just to back up just a second, because we were kind of trying to get live going and um, get organized, but we're using recipes from Jan Barry's book, Simple and Natural Soap Making. Um, everybody should probably try to find their own mentor or soap book that actually is easy for them to understand. We all learn differently. So every book and recipe is going to pre be presented differently. And for me, I needed the comfort level of, of somebody who was telling me what to do, but in a way that I could understand it. So this is the book I chose. And we've been using that for quite a few sessions now, having fun with it. Um, you can use the silicone molds if you want to make small, um, little decorative type soaps, or you can use the loaf pans. And um, these are great; they're not that expensive. Um, you only need you only need one unless you really want to get crazy, because um, after two days you can take it out and cut it and lay it on a rack to cure. So you, you don't need a ton of these even if you want to make soap over and over again. So is this a hot process or a cold process? This is cold process. Um, hot process will actually cook the soap after this process and then that cuts the curing time down by a little bit. Not a lot. Make, takes maybe a week off of the time. But some people like to do the hot process so it's really up to you. There's also a crock pot method, which is similar to more of a hot process, um, but I haven't tried it yet, so I can't even speak about it. Um, so anyway, we're going to go outside. After, well, first we're going to measure the water and the lye in here, and then we're going to go outside and um, mix it up. So let me just grab my, grab my. You want to use distilled water, and you can get lye through Amazon. I haven't found it locally anywhere. I think maybe it might be at Walmart, but I'm not sure. Um, now, I've heard some people say you could just use a drain line. Is that... No. What do you know about that? I wouldn't do that. Um, they're, they're different. I mean, they're, they're sodium hydroxide, but there's going to be, like, the pool chemicals. Like, you're going to have your, you know, your food-grade DE that you can give to your animals, and you're going to have your pool-grade um, DE that you would put in your filter. So they're the same, but they're different in how they're manufactured so I would just buy this we've done probably seven loaves of soap already between us and um, we've hardly put a dent in this canister do you remember what one of those costs was it online you said you it got was. like Amazon I want to say it was 10 ish maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it wasn't a lot I well, probably, okay. yeah I wouldn't have been like I wouldn't have spent 50 or something on this yeah. it, no <laughs> it was a it was an expensive ingredient, and it's a two-pound canister, and it's it's lasting 
funding long enough for me to be happy with that. Okay, so we need water. How much water? 227 grams. Okay. And we were talking before we came live that we were um, um, using the same standard of measurement for everything, even if it's a liquid. So we're doing liquid by weight. Mm -hmm. So 227. And you do want to be pretty specific. It's kind of like more like um, more like baking than cooking, as far as like how loose and crazy you can be. Um, which is probably why I'm better at cooking, because <laughs> I don't like to be specific. Um, and then 101 grams of fresh flour. We need 101 grams. All right, and yes, I'm breaking all the safety rules because I did not put my glasses and gloves on, but I'm going to do it before I move this. Is it 101. Okay, so if you want to see what how little it is, it's maybe a half a maybe a little more than half a cup. It's about three and a half ounces. Yeah, so it's not a lot. But it's important to measure by the precise ounce. You definitely ounce. want to measure it with a scale for the amount that you're supposed to have. So right. don't um, don't be guessing on your lie. Don't be using a half cup. No, don't, don't <laughs> say like, oh, I'll just throw half a cup on top yeah. of this water. No. Don't do that. Um, so before I try to walk with these, because I have been known to be clumsy, I'm going to get um, glasses and gloves on. Okay, it's live. Just do what you got to do. We're very okay. loosey goosey. You want to be like, yeah, now I'm going over here. This is probably like the only time I've ever been this careful. <laughs> I think this is a good look for me. It is. <laughs> is everything set up outside? There's a table out there and a spoon. Okay. And the container. Yeah. Uh, Am I adding water to? Um, water to lie or lie to water? That's important. Be sure. Carefully stir the lye into, into the, the distilled water. water. Yeah, okay. that's important. Yep. Okay. So L W. Uh huh. Lye water. Yeah, it is. Lye it's to important. the water, not water to the lye. Right. It's really important. Also best order. And you do that on the porch, is that what you yep. said? Yep. So we're okay. gonna we're gonna walk. Because it makes fumes. Yeah. Because I don't. Okay. I don't want to knock anybody out that I invited. I will stalk you out to the porch. <laughs> the last thing you need is another yard. Or Oh, I left my gloves somewhere. I'm going to grab the gloves. Okay. Oh. Right there. I got two out of three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on, folks. Well, I get you straight here. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the waters in. I have a sacrificial spoon. I don't use the same cooking utensils for soap as I do for kitchen work. And then we're going to slowly add this in. And this gets hot, right? This gets very hot. And um, you want to use a heavy grade plastic container because... Um, It'll get hot. If you use the metal one, it might get too hot. You don't want to. You don't want to keep the heat. You want it to react and then start to cool. So, um, this is what's going on. Yep, it's, you can see it good. And we're just going to stir that for a little bit to get everything dissolved, and then we're going to let it cool. We want it to get cooled down to less than a hundred. Uh, it says in the book what we're heading for. I can't remember. Um, do you have a heat gun thingy? Or we do, you... do have a heat gun thingy, and we're going to check that in a few minutes. And it's a beautiful day. Um, 
It's like <coughs> 50 some degrees, not too warm. And so this is perfect because. Um, and the camera will <laughs> Bandy, bandy. It, um, like some of those super I don't cold... smell it, but I felt a little scratch in my throat. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So as it started to dissolve, it's getting a little clearer. <laughs> Thank you, Molly. Molly's fanning me. <laughs> Keep the fumes away. Or yeah, we need to put a me. mask on you, too. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let that do its thing. So start there, and we can go back in. Okay. Check on our oils, and we'll come back out. Going back inside. Come on, we let that sit. Um, I'll follow, get the I'll follow Janet gone. in. It takes a few minutes. Not long. It's I'll follow you. <laughs> it's really hot now. Like you'll be out. That's clear. Yeah, you can feel it. You want to feel how hot the bottom is? Oh, yeah. Very hot. Oh, yeah. See? I saw this, the yeah. heat, the steam. Mm -hmm. the yeah, nope. definitely. Sure. It's hot. 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 Yeah, the, the, the temperature has to drop to 100 to 110. Oh, here it is, right in front of me. Uh -huh. That's good. I was starting to think, oh, good, now I can't find it. That'd be perfect. Okay. <coughs> oh. I know. I mean, you missed this. You missed this on second I session. Did. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, we're going to go out. We have to get down to what? One, uh, 100 to 110. So, um, it's still really warm right now, but I'm going to go take a reading. You can just stay here, talk amongst yourself, and take a reading real quick. Now she's taking a reading to get it to a certain yeah. temperature. She has to let it cool down to a certain temperature. Okay. Hello, Bandy and Grandma people. <laughs> uh, Janet is cooling down the lye with, and she's checking it with the gun. Thank you. I can't see it. <laughs> and then we're going to start making some soap. I met Janet last year at the Homesteaders of America conference, and we got chatting, and I had no idea that she was a neighbor. She lived just 15 minutes from me. So uh, this is the first time we've been able to get together, but we've been in contact on online, and uh, I'm excited to be here at her home on her farm. It's Timber Creek Farm, and making soap today. So we're going to be very loosey-goosey here, so you may see some downtime. We're just letting the camera roll while she makes the soap. So we're at 172, so we've got a little bit of, um, we got a, yeah, it, it's gonna, it's gonna cool down pretty quickly. So what, we, yeah, what we've done in the past while we're killing some time is we've made up a quick batch of, um, lotion just because we're here and we're waiting. So, go ahead. Oh, no, I can use this one. Oh, that's a scale. Janet, if you don't have a heat gun, what can you use to monitor the temperature? Well, you can just kind of let it cool till it feels good to you. <laughs> it should be, I mean, 100 degrees isn't much hotter than body temperature, so you should be able to feel the bottom of the container and not really feel any real heat. Okay. So um, you can you can use anything that will measure it, but you definitely really want it to cool. Mm -hmm. Like it should not feel hot or warm. Just kind of lukewarm i guess valerie is offering you can use a candy thermometer you can you okay. can yep i think the, the reason i got the um infrared one okay grammy was just because um you don't have to wash anything afterwards and you can i can yeah. like use this for the roast yeah. too with <laughs> i know tara i'm living with a dime she always uses that yeah so and it really wasn't very expensive i had 20 something so I, was, I, I needed them on one. Amazon. Yeah. yeah, I needed one anyway, just for kitchen stuff. So I was like, I'm just gonna get that. It actually was really cool last time. We had fun. We measured everything. <laughs> like, just, like right now, it is uh, 64.9 degrees in my house. Um, <laughs> um, so we just need like a quick lotion. Here's what I'm doing. So we're getting a bonus today. We're making lotion. We're gonna make a quick. Yeah, lotion bar fab. Um, 
These are so easy. Or we could do lip balm. That's also super easy. A pioneer soul says she's never seen that type of thermometer and she really likes it. Oh, here. Let me just give you the the box so you can. That's what it came out of, Pioneer Soul. So what do you guys think? Lip balm? Lip or balm. Lip balm? Anytime. Okay, well then. <laughs> All right. There you go. All right, we're going to make calendula oil lip balm. Because I made in, I made a big container of... Um, are these your own calendula flowers? They're not. I ordered them from Mountain Rose Herbs because um, my, I didn't have enough calendula. So I was able to get there. This is the infused oil. All you do to make an infused oil is heat up your herbs in a container with the oil. I use a, either use a crock pot or put it down in a pot of boiling or simmering water. Just leave it for a couple hours and it um, gets all the goodness out of the flowers and herbs and puts it into the oil. And then you just want to strain it, which I am going to do. Noah's Ark says you can get the heat guns at... Uh, Harbor Freight, and you can use a 20% coupon. Ah, well, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. I like the, the I like the give and take. She's like asking. They're asking what book you're using for the. Oh yes, we can show you. It's a Jan Berry, Simple and Natural. This one. Mm -hmm. That's for the. Oh, that. Well, this is for the lip balm. This is for the soap. Too. Okay, but they knew that. Yeah. I think they're asking oh, about one? the lip balm. Yeah, this yeah. is Jan's other book. Can they see that? A little bit closer in that way. Perfect. Jan Berry's 101 Easy Homemade Products for the Skin, Health, and Home. There you go. And there's the page. Can you see it? Yes. Page 129. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Molly. And then I just strained, I had a little strainer. I just strained the, um, Oops, the calendula flowers out of the oil. I've got the oil in the bottom. So I have a cup and a half of oil, which is way more than I need, but I could just store that in the refrigerator for the next time that I want to make something with calendula. Calendula is really healing. The thing I can now do with these olive oil um, flowers is I'll put them back in this jar and I'll take them to treat my chickens later. Mm. And they will get a nice little herbal olive oil treat. Um, I have 60 chickens, I think. So... They're not going to get too much, but they don't need they don't need a lot. Just a nice little vitamin oil, yummy. Someone is asking again for the soap book. So there's the soap, simple and natural soap making by Jan Berry. By Jan Berry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. It's probably not the best deal. Okay. It's hard to do yeah. all that. You would all see mirrors. <laughs> Make lip balm. We need to get this ready too. We're gonna remember how we had we put rubber them bands on the side of the Yeah, we just put them in a little rubber band screw pen. It's gonna take care of that. We'll find a rubber band. It makes it super easy to pour them, to pour it that way. Junk drawer time. We all have a junk drawer. Some of us have more than one. All, that, all I want is a rubber band. It's got everything but what you want in it. Have we used shoelaces? Twine? I don't know. Tape measure. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, yay! Okay. There's two. Hopefully they're not dry rotted. They're going to work. Okay. All right, so we've got our oil in your jar. Yeah, it won't be as much because it's only a small bit of make. Okay. Oh, how do you read this? Okay, an ounce of the infused oil, um, which is 28 grams. Okay. I'm making calendula um, lip balm. Who wants to, would you like me to do? I want somebody to come and measure. Someone to measure it. And here's what the lip balm's a little more. In, yep, there you go. Here's what the lip balm's gonna be going put into. Is this another Amazon product, uh, Janet? Your lip balm holder. 
I know the candidate, so yeah. <laughs> You can get them from lots of different um, sources. Do places like Michael's have them? Yes. Oh, okay. And um, I've ordered them from herbal companies like Mountain Rose Herbs. Um, some of the herbal schools carry products too. She's going to tell you. Okay. Do you want this? Is can you? We can't read it because of the shadow. Oh yeah, it is the gram. That's really hard to see the gram. Okay. Okay. So twenty-eight grams of the oil. You must be precise. Fourteen grams of that one. Is that going to taste yucky? <laughs> Castor oil. <laughs> Fish lips. <laughs> Does that smell like fish when you smell yeah. the bottom? Does that smell? No. Yeah. Okay. Smell, smell it. Okay. I just, I never had castor oil. <laughs> it smells like stale olive oil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've just heard, I just remember the old little rascals where they used to make them take castor yes. oil and they were all exactly. complaining. That's what I think awful. of too. Um, and then 14 grams of the beeswax. <laughs> These are um, the little. The re you can get beeswax in so many different forms. You can get big chunks and shave it off yourself, or you can use your own or whatever. Um, these little, um, I think they're called little pastilles or something. They're tiny little circle things. Um, they're just easier to measure. What's the difference between the white and the yellow beeswax? I think one of them is refined. refined. Yeah. I think it's just it. Yeah. I try to buy the. I've more, got some of the yellow home. The more natural. Yeah. Uh, 14, 14, 14 grams. And then that's it, that's it. So we're just going to let those melt together and we'll pour them in the lip balm thingy um, that's ready here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Ready right here. We'll, we'll lip balm a plate. Can we use that white spoon? Because now everything is stuck inside our, yeah. Oh, so you keep a rubber band around the holders yeah. so you can just pour it in, so you don't need a holder for it. The rubber exactly. band. Ah. And actually, what I would probably do is pour from the jar back into the little plastic measuring cup because they'll be kind of poor. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, you want to take a reading up there? See if I'm our live. All right. Room. Abby is asking for the soap. Can you use goat milk instead of water? You can. We're actually going to make a goat milk soap later. And what I told everybody when we got started is, um. When you're doing milk, you have to freeze it first. Uh -huh. So make sure you read up on using milk for soap. It um, doesn't matter whether it's um, goat milk or, or whole cow milk. Um, if you're using liquid milk, it has to be frozen because the lye will make it so hot that it'll curdle. So you want to make sure that it starts off a lot cooler. And the other thing is you don't have a waiting period after you use the milk um, and the lye because 
once it activates, it's already cool. So you don't have to wait for it to cool down like you do with the water. What did we get? 129.2. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there on the next step. Oh, and Noah's Ark says she compared the, uh, the place she said you could get the laser thermometer mm -hmm. with Amazon, and Amazon actually came out cheaper. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> It's it's community yeah, it's here. It's great right. to have community. Yeah, that's this is called um, this is Glendale Oil. Right. That's Actually, how much was it? Yeah, did you? How much was it? Um, Noah's Ark. Could you give us the figures? What you found? It'll be a while before she yeah, gets back. Yeah, she's got it's got to catch up. Yeah, there's a lag. It doesn't matter if that stays. It doesn't matter if that like melts for a while either. We can come back to that. We can jump back and forth. So we're gonna take this out. I'm gonna go because by the time I get all my safety gear back on, um, it will probably be down where we want it to be. We're gonna use an immersion blender to um, mix the oil and the lye mixture. Um, and we want to get to something called trace, which I know all you soap makers know. It was a brand, <coughs> brand new term to us, but what it means is you mix it until it starts to thicken, until it leaves a trace as you pull through it. So, yeah, and you can do like a light trace or a heavy trace, depending on how thick you want it. Noah's Ark said 647 and up on the laser, laser heat guns. Oh, okay. That's yeah. pretty on inexpensive. A, on the Amazon. Yeah, yeah, that's inexpensive. Yeah. Okay. So are we going on the back porch? We are going to go on the porch. I'm going to put my gear on. I use the little chest. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's bring my own. I need to explain to you that you have the ability as a fly suck to anything else. And it's like food. When I asked you about the goat's milk, did you? Um, I was kind of concentrating on the chat. Did you say why you needed to freeze it? Because somebody said they never do, and it came out good. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, what I read was that it can curdle because the lye gets it so hot so quickly that the milk can curdle. Mm -hmm. um, but the, actually, when we do the milk soap today, it's going to be the first time I've done it, so yeah. um, I can't really speak from lots of experience on that. Right. I knew I needed electricity for something. I just couldn't remember what it was for. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm staring at this uh, immersion blender going, okay. What are it's we not do solar? <laughs> what are we going to do with it? <laughs> One second, I have to put some stuff down so that I can plug in the extension. Take your time. It's live. We all expect this stuff. I'm always amazed when I can actually Hello, Canada. do something without Donna said she just ordered both those books. Oh, good. <laughs> I think you'll really like Jan's books. I'm not an affiliate of her book sales or anything. It's just that when I find a product that I really love, I love to tell everybody how great I think it is. So, um, here we go. All Okay. All right, Sharon, what am I doing? Um, I mean, like as far as like, you're going to pour the, hold on. You need the box. Am I checking the, do we need to check the temperature yeah. one more time? Yeah, we need to check it one more time. It should be really close. Uh, 120? Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Not that. 122. Yeah. Okay, we still have a little, we still have a few, few moments here to cool down. We don't want it to, we don't want to jump the gun and ruin it. It was right in the beginning, one of the dog Shea years. Shea Bastille? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Shea Butter, combine the warmed oil and the cool lye solution. Okay, so it doesn't matter so which way it is. So it doesn't matter which way it is. Whichever okay. is easiest, well, obviously it's easier for you to blend. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right yeah. into there then. I easier just, to see the trace. Just wanted to make sure. A trace prepare, uh, a trace pour into the prepared mold or individual molds. Okay. Trace happened really fast. The last it did. Time. I was surprised how quickly um, we got to trace. 
and we didn't even know what we were looking for, but you could see it. As soon as you saw it, you knew exactly what they were talking about. Like, right. it was not... It left a trail. It did. Yeah, it was not yeah. at all confusing. And, um, so, yeah. And it was just... The whole thing was so much simpler than I thought. I always thought soap making, I guess because it has to be precise, that it was going to be hard. But it's not. That's not the case at all. It's really just follow the directions and measure your ingredients and take your precautions and wear your safety <laughs> gear because, I mean, it's a big splash. Yeah, yeah, if it's just a little splash, you're now I'm get told burnt. you should keep vinegar handy so oh, if to you, neutralize. To neutralize if you get splashed. That's splash. great. Yeah. That's a good idea. So when you make soap, to keep a okay. thing of yeah, vinegar that's handy, a really and then good you can point. flood the area right away. That's a really good point. The only thing I had read was run tons of cold water over it right mm -hmm. away to cool the burn. But that, yeah, that would neutralize Now, if there are the some burn. soap makers in the live stream good. here, please go ahead and offer your suggestions because yeah. we're all up for learning. We're yeah, all we're, newbies here. We're just all learning. Attempting. <laughs> this, is a, this is a YouTube of a learning adventure. This is not me running a um, paid class or, or telling anybody I'm an expert. I just like to invite friends over to watch we me. We live crash. dangerously. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm living on the edge, I like to bring friends with me. So, <laughs> When we first started, I said to Sharon and Hannah, "Let's do some soap," and we just, we just did. Like they were, they were up for an adventure too, and so we've we've actually okay. done a few. Get to the things. farm, CZ horses says yes. Neutralize, then rinse well. Yes, mm -hmm. got it. That's a, a really of good mad point. scientists, says Mr. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole room full of them here today. <laughs> yeah, we were there. One, two, three, four, six of us. We're one, two, three, four, five, so six, we can go ahead, seven right? count, yeah. Jane. Yeah. We're down to 108 now, so I'm going to go ahead and put my... And an immersion blender was a really good yeah. decision, too, using that. It really helps. Yeah. Now, if you can find one at a yard sale or something, because you won't want to use it for anything else no. afterwards. So a thrift store. Yeah. Do you want four while I Well, what I always had a question was, if it's soap, why can't you use it? Because you're going to wash it in soap yeah, anyway. Yeah, I know. I, just, <laughs> I, I agree. And that's because it hasn't I, saponified yet Yeah, I just something? don't feel comfortable yeah. using the stuff on my family's food that I've used to play with uh, chemicals. So, yeah, yeah go ahead. Right, so, you're, so it's cooled down, and now you're slowly adding the oil mixture mm -hmm. to the soap mixture and using an immersion like blender until you come to trace. Which is when you move the blender, it leaves a trail behind it. blender like you can stop and just stir too the immersion blender isn't mandatory you can just use your spoon it just takes you forever yeah it just takes you forever. It's actually just <laughs> but it's hard to see trace with it going so you definitely want to stop every so often right. and, and see how you're doing Right, I'm going to look down inside you. Soap molds and maybe a couple little molds. Okay. All right. Now, someone wants you to tell again what what oils you were using. Um, we used a bunch of oils. <laughs> in the, yeah, butter. We used um, we used cocoa butter, shea butter, olive oil. I think we melted all those in the beginning. Okay, we're 
actually, I think we're there. I think you're at Trace? Yeah, we are. Right. Let me, yeah. let me show, show me what you, it looks let like. Let me show you Trace. Okay, so you can see that this is leaving a trail as I drip the soap. I don't know if Molly and um, Jackie want to see. Do you guys want to see this? So, do, does that show up clear on there, Susie? Yeah, I can see the trail you're yeah. leaving. It's, I thought it was when you stirred it, it left a trail behind yeah, the spoon. Yeah, well, it does that too, but um, you can also just do this and you can see. Drip it and it leaves yep, a trail on it. leaves a trail. Okay. So, this is the consistency. I would say this is a light trace because um, if you want to do those fancy soaps that have, like, um, flower blossoms on the top of them or that look almost like a dessert. Um, yeah. Those you want to keep mixing a little longer and get a thicker trace so that you can actually mold them like a really soupy clay kind of consistency. Once it's in the mold, I haven't done this yet. We're, we're keep, we keep saying we're going to do that. Okay. So we're good. You can definitely see that has a good trace. Like. And from the Okay. Where did you buy your soap molds? Um, I have to say again, I'm a big Amazon shopper. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? Amazon. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I know some people these. can find things at the Dollar Tree they can use. Yep. Some mm -hmm. people find things at the thrift stores. Mm -hmm. I know Tara from Living on a Dime, she found a ton of soap stuff yeah. when no, she goes the, to thrift the stores. The silicon molds, you can find some of the silicon molds in... Um, candy making sections um oh yeah too the mm -hmm. silicon um just we want them to be able to be so that you can pop the soap out after it hardens um without breaking it so before we do the um so people can get out before we do the big mold i'm just going to steal a little bit of this make a couple looks like vanilla pudding <laughs> <laughs> do we have a big loaf somewhere too do you want that yeah okay i don't want to do one loaf and just a couple of these Oh, okay. Sorry. This is so much simpler than I thought it would be. Yeah. I'm the computer to do this. <laughs> okay, so that's just a couple little individual soaps. That's all you do. And just, just tap it to get the air bubbles out. And then here's, here's a our request for those. Oh, maybe next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you we get this. A... No, I got one. Yeah, Maniac Grammy says she does buy her molds from the Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. You can make your own molds, too, if you're handy that way. This is really thick. Yeah, somebody time. else said, uh, let's see, who said they made their own? Uh, Homesteading the Pioneer Way said, mm -hmm. I made my own molds. Good. She's living what she says. And Jen in Canada said, I have <laughs> silicone molds from the dollar store here in Canada for oh, wow. 2 to $3. That's Are you keeping the molds only to be used for soap? Yeah. Yes. Do you oil your molds first so the soap can come out smoother? I haven't. They have come out super fine, just the way, just the silicone. I take it out of the wood and then peel the silicone uh, mold off of the soap. Mr. Rain says, looks yummy, but don't eat it for several days yet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hopefully I will never be that hungry that I will eat the soap. I'm amazed yeah, that mice will eat soap. Yeah. I've seen them chewing on soap. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the nerdy way. The nerdy fun way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I've, I've tried, I haven't tried it, but I've read through her crock pot. Mm-hmm. You're going to wonder why all these books are suddenly <laughs> being know. sold to <laughs> Well, I'm going to... Here they go. I just ordered mine. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to oh, say, you need to go check out Bandana Grandma, because we were... We were soaping, <laughs> and it's on video, and we didn't burn up anybody. Jenny Kanata said, I got your green flower mold there from Dollar Store here for $2, I believe. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, I don't need to wash. We'll wash this out. My handy-dandy assistant here off screen. <laughs> she does um, a good job. She's good, she's good. <laughs> okay, yep, thank you. Okay, so, this is in the mold. You can make that as smooth on top as you want by fooling with it with a, a spatula or some kind of smoother. Um, I, I like to tap it like I did with the tiny 
tiny ones just to get any air bubbles out from underneath. Um, just tap it. It's thick now, so I'm not worried about it splashing me. It's, it's very, very thick. What you're going to do is leave this in the mold for a couple days. Um, some people say 24 to 48. I have always felt more secure and like in my best experience of doing this, like, I don't know, three or four times. Um, yeah, I'm like, um, I'm like an expert on the internet now. <laughs> um, I felt that it was better to leave it at least 48 hours. I've even gone as far as three days um, before I've taken the mold off. And then I set it on a cutting board and I actually did... <laughs> After the first one that I cut by hand, I did go and buy a wooden soap cutter um, because it's amazing. Like, it's a little gu guillotine type thing, and you just can slice those and you move what the kind thing. Of, is it a wire blade or is it a. It's, um, it's a. No, it's a full metal blade, okay. and it came actually with two blades. Excuse me. It came with two blades. It came with a, the wavy one and the plain one. And then you just push the mold, push the loaf through and it's all measured so you can get all of the exact um yeah hi robin thanks for stopping in uh, maniac grammy wants to know do you wrap your soap um yeah i can show you how i've been wrapping them here's the oh look at you look at her. i love my friends they're such good assistants <laughs> so yeah you just put your put your loaf in oops, and you just keep moving it moving it up and um here's the if you want wavy edged soap, you can then use that blade, but I think then you use, there's a, you can see, this is the mark for using the wavy blade, and this is the mark for using the flat blade. Yeah. And you just adjust it here to how wide you want your bars to be. Now, this can actually be filled <clears throat> to the top, um, but I haven't done it that way because I've always wanted to make a couple of little small ones too, just for fun. Um, and I'll grab one of the um, ones that we have wrapped. Do you have, can you give an estimate of what those uh, cutters cost? That was on Amazon. Um, you Ballpark. Can get, I know. Ballpark. Um, 10, 20, 30. Oh, under, under 30, definitely. I'm cheap. I mean, <laughs> I have a level and I'm like, okay, that's, that's acceptable. Otherwise I'm using a knife. Um, <laughs> yeah. So definitely it was in the 20 range, I think. Yeah. There was two options. I remember you could get more of the molds with it, or you could just get that. So you didn't have to, you didn't have to get the whole set if you didn't need it. So, um, but it changed my life. Like I said, I'm such a big expert now in the soap making <laughs> world, but it changed my life from the first batch to the second batch because I loved the way they came out cut yeah, so nicely. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so it was worth it to me because I knew I was hooked and I was going to want to keep making soap. Um, I gave almost everything away at Christmas um, as gifts. Did you too? They're lovely. Yeah. They're loved. They're yeah, lovely. Loved. And, and even people that I had given something else then asked me if they could have soap. <laughs> so I was like, I out. sure. <laughs> uh, Maniac Grammy says, hey, see more, you can get the cutter. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I guess... I tend not to leave home too much. One, it saves me a lot of money if I just get exactly what I need. And um, second, um, I love to support my local stores. I support them way too much sometimes. So, and then with the animals, it's just hard for me to get out. So a lot of times it's just easier for me to just. Homesteading the Pioneer Way says she barters with her soaps. Oh, there you go. And and great it, idea. and if you're in, I can store, barter with my mittens, then maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In, I brought some with me in the so winter. I could show oh, good, you what I was working good, because everybody here loves to make stuff. So that's okay. good. Um, especially if you're into like having some preps set aside, or just like to know how to do things. Soap making is great because if we, you know, God forbid, ever get to a point in life where we can't go to stores or we can't, um, we don't have the money to go to stores. Um, back in the day, and maybe some of your followers will know how to do this. You can use wood ash to come up with your your lie. That's how they used ingredient. to do it back right. in the pioneer I mean, days. I don't know how to do it. Um, my husband said that would have been a lot more exciting to him if we were doing it that way <laughs> over a, over an open fire. Yeah. And I said, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. So he's down at the farm working on stuff. So, <laughs> well, Janet, while you're here, tell them your start with your blog and all that. Oh, okay. Um, my blog is um, timbercreekfarmer.com. And I'm on Facebook as Timber Creek Farmer. I'm on Instagram as TC Farmer because go figure, there was a Timber Creek Farm already. Um, 
so um, yeah, look me up. I'm on YouTube as um, Timber Creek Farm. Um, I'm not as active on YouTube yet, but you she never just know. Start you YouTube. might be able to convince me to come on more on live. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rain, no, you may not call me Nanny Granny. <laughs> <laughs> And Homesteading the Pioneer Way says, yes, it's easy to make lye. Okay. Good. You'll have to let us know where we can find that information. Yeah. Because that would be really interesting Homesteading to Homesteading the share. Pioneer Way, do you have that on your YouTube channel? Abby Boehm says, I am going to order both the books and when we're done here. Good. Well, we're going to go. Oh, yeah. Here's, our, here's one of the soaps that we made last time. This is a lavender shampoo bar, which is also a body bath. Um, it's anything. It's soap. But it has um, a lot of creamy ingredients in it, so it's good for shampoo also. And this is all I've done to wrap them up for, for giving, is I just put them in this little plaid bag down at the bottom. I had these. I don't know why. Like I said, sometimes I'm just, I'm just like that shopper. Like, oh, I need that too. <laughs> oh, my sister's on. I gotta say hello oh, to my yay. sister. Hi, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just made these labels on the computer. They're just the Avery label. So, oh, where Very are we? Nice there are we. Okay. <laughs> like, now, are, you are, are you eventually going to sell soaps online and things like that? I don't know. I have a lot of friends that are selling like soaps. Like an Etsy and, store. Yeah, I mean, I could put them in my Etsy shop. I sell yarn. We have um, we have fiber animals and, and sheep. Now that's what you need so, to talk about. Yeah, so we make our we have our own yarn line, um, and you can find that on yeah. Etsy slash shop slash timber creek farm and you can look at our yarns on there um our latest yarns are coming out next week i spent yesterday at the fiber mill um working on the sample skeins um learning more about how the how the decision is made whether it can be a sport yarn or a dk or um fingering weight and um i have some beautiful thin yarns coming out that are super soft my sister wants to know do you sell ombre dye yarn I don't. I haven't done an ombre very successfully yet. I do dye yarn. Um, I teach classes on using natural plant dyes, um, and that's a lot of fun. So you will see me do that at the Homesteading of America conference again in October. I did it last year. This year I'm also holding a workshop with Dana Sullivan. We're doing a total fiber immersion workshop. Do you have a spinning wheel? <laughs> I do, but I'm not doing a fiber a spinning demo for you because I'm really not that good at it. Dana's, Dana's gonna good. do Dana's, Dana's the spinner in our team and she's going to do the spinning. We're gonna talk fiber prep. Like if you have a couple sheep of your own and you have two fleeces, you don't want to send those two fleeces off because they'll be too expensive. We're gonna do a total fiber workshop day where you will have raw fleece and we will work all the way through it to dyeing it. Um, so you, you'll get a total feel for what it would be like if you had fiber animals of your own. Or maybe you have them and you just don't know what to do with all those fleeces piling up. So. Uh, somebody here is called S. Spinner. Mm. She said, that's the spin in my name. So uh -huh. uh, Homesteading the Pioneer Way says she just has a drop spindle and knows she has not put the how to make it from ash yet okay. on, her, on her YouTube. Okay. Not yet. Well, said. we'd like to know that. Yeah, we would. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to go in so we can pour the... Um, lip balm and then we'll let you maybe shut it down okay all right we can do another one all right i'll do that now so, all right let me turn this around if i can figure out how to do it mm, i guess i'm gonna have to get in front of it i thought i could switch the channel okay i'm gonna I'm shut it down now and We'll, I don't know if we'll pick it up later when we pour more soap, but it's all going to be the same thing anyway. So, so thanks for coming by and joining the live stream. This will go up as a regular video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to each other's channels. We always want to support each other that way. Being Dan and Grandma, saying bye.